Hello, Dicers, my dream chasers. Welcome back to Dice Decides. Happy New Year, guys. I know I'm late, <laughs> but um, yeah. In this video, I wanted to talk about how to be a Stoic. <laughs> Have you guys heard of Stoicism? It dates back to all the way back to ancient Greek and Roman times. Uh, my favorite Stoic is uh, Marcus Aurelius because, uh, yeah, let me get into what it means to be a Stoic. I mean, <laughs> I don't want to come off as an expert, okay? I'm just, you know, <laughs> I've just been digging into this concept called Stoicism, and it's interesting. What it means to be a Stoic, in my opinion, is, um, is someone who is uh, completely sure of himself and not influenced by external factors because a true stoic he recognizes that he can't control the external world you know there could be a chaotic war outbreak or some uh, economic collapse or you might get robbed you know there's so many things that could happen but a stoic recognizes that almost all of the things some things can be controlled you can't control your own financial situation your own local reality if you will but um, for the most part, you can't control anything because the world is so chaotic and crazy that it's completely out of our control. And most people, they don't realize this. They just, they get so stressed out and, you know, have you ever been in traffic and it's like, oh, I'm so late. Like, and now there's plenty of cars. It's like, you just get this like moody uh, state. But a true stoic would just sit there and be like, well, what a beautiful day it is. I can't control traffic. No reason to be upset about it. You know, there's so much power there. Stoicism is amazing. <laughs> just my new fascination lately. It's just, it's completely, you know, it's a quite a different, completely different worldview than the average person has because we do get stressed about meaningless things that we cannot change. So a Stoic is brought back to the things he can change, he or she, <laughs> uh, and uh, focus on that. What can you do about your own life? You can affect your own body, your own health. You can eat healthy, you can work out, you can have your own positive mindset about the world and uh, feel this inner peace, this inner strength that comes with stoicism is unmatched. Let me tell you. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty new to this mindset, but it's pretty radical, I'd say. <laughs> it's very interesting. I still have, I've yet to read uh, Marcus Aurelius's uh, book, Meditations. I've heard it's really good. So um, yeah, it's, it's very interesting. Because like I said, there's so many things that can happen. I mean, so many things will happen. It's guaranteed. The world is very random in a sense. Though I know nothing is truly random, but the world is so big and we can't possibly control the geopolitical <laughs> state of the world unless you're in a high position like a president or something, <laughs> which I doubt you are. I mean, if you're Trump watching, I mean, I, I take it back, but... <laughs> Wait a minute, Trump is not president. 
Though I feel like it might be. Anyway. <laughs> it's election year. I shouldn't get political. Um, I have no opinions. I, I have no political stance. So, I'm fine. I'm neutral. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Right. Stoicism. It's, uh... It's so comforting. Like, when you feel the, uh... When you understand what Stoicism is about and you, f you can sort of feel it, you can sort of stand in a Stoic's worldview, it's so great. Another thing. So, another thing Stoics embody is searching for, searching and embracing challenges. They don't look at an obstacle in life as something that's detrimental to you. Oh no, like I have to do this. I have to overcome this now, this whole problem that just popped up into my life. Like I have to pay these bills and like all these things that could pop up and will pop up. But a Stoic takes a completely different perspective on that. A Stoic says, yes, another challenge for me to undertake and grow from. A Stoic will look for challenges because a Stoic knows that by facing challenges and overcoming challenges, you grow your comfort zone and then all of a sudden, those challenges that used to bother you are like, <laughs> they're like nothing to you. It's just a, a walk in the park, you know. It's just, you don't even care anymore. Like I'm standing out here in this cold weather. It's not very cold now, but I mean, it's just snow everywhere. No one in their normal mind would come out into a cold place and film a video <laughs> that you don't have to do like I don't have to do this. But I mean, I don't, I don't consider this a challenge anyway, but it's just an example. <laughs> Filming a video like this would be a challenge for a lot of people, I think, because It's uncomfortable. You want to stay in your comfort zone. Be inside of your room, nice, warm, and cozy. Watching some uh, videos on uh, TikTok or YouTube or Instagram or something. That's the modern comfy zone, I'd say. But no, a true Stoic will not be content with that. A true Stoic would go out and seek some kind of challenge to grow. To keep growing every day. And only then will true satisfaction arrive. Man, I love Stoicism. <laughs> and I don't consider myself a, a perfect Stoic by any means. No, I'm still influenced by external factors. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's, a, it's a practice that you need to, you need to work on like a muscle. It's something that you just, you work on by continually growing, by going through the challenges in life, failing. And I mean, failure is an ingredient for success. <laughs> you have to fail to know what not to do. And a lot of the things I'm saying, I've heard someone else say. <laughs> it's not like I'm coming up, coming up with new things that make sense because... Humans have been wise for thousands of years. There's no reason to reinvent the wheel. There's ways of living that work really well and have been tested by people like Stoics. And when you can embrace the difficult things in life for your own growth and for just eternal peace, and then 
you can help others feel the same and help others overcome their problems and realize that by overcoming your problems, you can grow and face on new, bigger problems, bigger issues. Every challenge is like a treat. It's like, <laughs> come on, bring on the challenge. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay? Because after that one, we can move on to bigger ones. And bigger and bigger and keep expanding. Keep expanding your mind and your your physical strength. I mean, all those images of Stoics, they're always like ripped and <laughs> really muscly people from like, it's usually ancient Rome. It's depicted in like muscular sculptures. <laughs> it's great. You know, if you can embrace the Stoic mindset, you can go far in life. Trust me on that one. I've just recently, it's not, not that I recently discovered the term Stoic, but Recently, I would say, delve deeper into the concept of Stoicism. And it's interesting. It's really interesting. So, um, yeah, I don't want to ramble on for too long. I mean, I wouldn't call this rambling because I'm just explaining the depth of Stoicism. There's a lot to this. You know, it's a whole lifestyle, I would say. But it's amazing. It's like challenges. That's the only way we can grow, you know. And it doesn't have a strong effect when we only do the challenges we have to do in life. No, a Stoic seeks out new challenges, you know? Just bring it on, man. <laughs> so, um, yeah. That's it. <laughs> All right. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope uh, you can... Um, Embrace the stoic lifestyle as well because it's very rewarding when you do. I'll just say that right now. <laughs> Incredibly rewarding. Anyway, that's it. So, I'm so tired of my outro. I'm just gonna say thank you for watching, guys. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll see you sometime soon. I don't know what kind of video, but I want to inspire people and entertain. So, anyway, that's it for me. Have a good day, guys. Have a nice day. Goodbye.